Now, during my 25 years in this world, I have watched thousands and thousands of TV shows. Disney, 80%. Prime TV, 90% of the whole series. Netflix, I don't even want to talk about it. 121%. They even called me and they told me, we want to give you the Guinness record for being the most lifeless person who sits and watches TV all day. The title was just too embarrassing, so I just had to decline the offer. But lately, I haven't been enjoying any TV series or reality shows. Anything anyone puts out, especially Netflix, is absolute garbage. But just two days ago, I came across a very entertaining reality show, a collab to be more specific, and I had a really good laugh about it. When Dion decided to confront Jack Doherty and they started throwing marshmallows at each other. Nothing makes me laugh more than watching kick streamers Dion and Jack Doherty to be more specific, putting on a tough guy act, trying to be like, what you gonna do, bro? What? You wanna go? You it's fucking hilarious. And I made a special Indian edit for their videos as well. Alright, maybe I'm having too much fun with this. Let's just move on. I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory so you know exactly what's happening. But the main purpose of this video that I'm making is for us to directly laugh at them because this shit is beyond laughable. Now, who remember this guy from Jack Duarte's videos where he came to Jack Duarte, he said he's so broke and he wants to become a huge streamer like Jack. He is the hero behind all of this because without him, none of this Bollywood reality show would have been possible. This is where the whole thing started. Neon was minding his business and he decided to just throw a drink in his face while looking Jack Duarte in his eyes. Right now, to be a world champion, that has to feel really good right now. Oh my god. Uh, Yo, what the fuck? I've a lot of in my life. I've oh my god. Life. He's cooked, he's tackled. It's a beautiful thing. He is your life. Now, usually when someone throws a drink in your face, they want to fight you. They want to destroy you. They want to smash you. Well, if a girl throws a drink in your face, face, they definitely don't want to smash you. But you get my point. Especially in this social knockout here in the Middle East where they try to be like the, the misfit of this place. They have a thing with protein powders. They throw protein powders on each other's face every single time. But throwing a drink at someone's face and start running like fucking Sonic? Childish is a very small word. There's not a word invented for this yet. Like, what, what do you expect from this whole interaction? After he started running and he got caught, like, oh, I throw. He's wet now. Oh, he's, he's so embarrassed in front of thousands of people. Oh. You see my point of view? I mean, end of the day, this year was funny and it led to this altercation between... Uh, most of you have seen this video, Jack and Neon. What's the point of that, bro? What, the, what do you get out of that, bro? What I didn't fucking do shit. Bro, what's your boy? What do you I get out of that, bro? Get out of my face. What the fuck you get out of that? So now you know the real reason behind why the whole thing happened. It wasn't just random. It was because Neon thought that Jack and that guy were both trying to embarrass him in front of like a lot of people and a lot of people watching. So Neon has unleashed the beast. He has let the monster out. He was tired of getting shit left and right, probably going through something, probably had a little bit of alcohol that night as well. And the, the demon in him came out. Jack was so lucky that his security was close by because if he wasn't, God knows what would have happened to him. Jack punch. Did Jack punch one of his own security guard? Oh no, he punched the Neon security guard. Fuck man, how did this this guy not kill him? <laughs> Wait, there was a point where Neon fell on his ass. Where is it? Fuck it out, man. I'm dying from this shit. Now, if Neon was a little bit built, Jack was uh, less cringe. 
maybe people would have taken them seriously. But in this situation, I'm even surprised why people got up in the first place. They probably got up because they don't want their drinks or popcorn or whatever snacks they had to spill. But if I was in their situation, if I'm sitting and I see two uh, chopsticks start punching each other, I mean, let's be honest, start marshmallowing each other. And if it if they hit my chair a little bit, and if my drink shakes and just spills like two, three drops, I am getting up. I am sending them back to God. Like, this is exactly what would have happened. But obviously, they have their security guards. And later on, even the security guards became as cringe as them with their move that they pulled up. Because there is more to this story. There's a second round to this. Now, I'm going to give you two POVs to this. This is uh, Neon's stream, and this is Jack. Open door. This is the part where they decide to, you know what? Jack was just not going to have this. And he decided to run up with his boy. I decided to just attack this guy. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go with this part to part, yeah? Now, I'm not sure if I can show you the whole video, but I don't care if I get demonetized. I don't give a shit about that. This is definitely worth it. But even with the last video of Jack Doherty who got humbled, which has the most views on my channel, 100 something K, that got removed because of community guidelines for showing fights. So we'll be gambling with this. I'll try to cut out maybe some parts, but I'll show you the main parts. Now let's talk about the situation, right? Bro is walking like a cartoon character thinking no one can hear him coming. He is walking behind like an assassin, a very loud assassin. The whole point of this was sneak attack again because Neon has two security guards on him. What in the fuck did he think was going to happen once these two giants they see a chopstick running towards them? This is exactly what happened. Now, this guy is gonna go around and go for Neon while these two security guards are dealing with them. Alright, let's go let's go back to the security guards, right? Now, this is Jack's security guard and this is Neon's. Now, Neon's security guard. 100% lied on his resume. He does not know two shits about being a security guard. Bro probably saw Paul Blart, the mall cop movie, and he just wanted to be a security guard in the first place. He got he, The mall didn't accept him, so he decided to be the odd security guard. And going back to Jack's security guard, first of all, I don't know if that's how security guards should dress, but what is this punch that you're throwing? That's not a punch. Uh, this looks like he, he is kissing your hand. You are telling him to kiss your hand. And why should security guards fight in this situation while two kids are fighting? Do they think like they're going to get a raise after this because they were backing each other up? Let these two fuckers get into trouble. Why do you want to get into one? You should just defend the person that you're supposed to pretend and not get yourself into trouble. Now, this is Jack's security guard as well. Everyone is just so lucky that he did not enter the chat. If he would have entered the chat, he would have ate them all. I'm talking hot dog style. Full on one sip swallow. If this guy punches you, you're, you're gonna see your ancestors all around you. Hey brother, hey brother, brother, shut brother, up, brother. Up, brother. Hey, listen, hey, wait, wait. Now Neo's OG security guard was obviously protecting him, but he was so done with his shit. He's, this guy's probably fired. This guy, def definitely. If I was Neon, I'll definitely fire this guy. Guys, if you, you guys want to say that I got bitched by Neon, so I had to go fucking <laughs> unbitch myself, right? And I did. That was insane. Yeah, I unbitched myself. Bro, What's up? Now, have, what, now what do you guys have to say? Shit, yeah, now what do you guys have to say? Miss not Brother, what kind of unbitching was that? The second you entered the chat, it took you 0 0.5 seconds to be thrown away. Just like a $2 backpack. If anything, he just embarrassed himself more with the way he dealt with this thing. He could have definitely been smart with it. Have his friends go towards the security guard, distract him and, you know, Jack to go around and just started beating up Neon. Like if anyone sees the aftermath, they're going to see Neon's shirt beat up, but like it's turned up and they're going to see like Jack Doherty showing his hand just like this of how it's bloody. You're gonna think like shit went down, right? He's gonna go home, he's gonna be like, I just got into a fight and shit was like crazy. 
If you pay attention, the way he got thrown into the wall, that's the hand thing that happened. And Neon, he didn't even eat one punch. He just got pulled left and right like a chopstick. And that's why his shirt just started to tear up. Nothing happened. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I've seen 10-year-olds fight better than this. I've seen lesbians fight better than this. I've seen... 12 year olds giving a perfect knockout like if you bring those ufc kids who are you know the junior ufc kids fighting they're both all gonna be on the floor 100 percent. i will put money in this now god knows if this whole thing is scripted or not i don't really care i had a good laugh about it scripted or not this shit was just too funny to watch and some of you die hard jack duarte neon fans who got their faces and your like arm tattooed you're gonna come in the comments and you're gonna say, Kush, you're jealous because you're not them. You wish you were them. And you're absolutely right. But unfortunately, I don't have the special talent that they have. The talent of cringe. I, I wished, I wish I have that talent. But unfortunately, I don't have it. So that means I will never be as successful and have their type of lifestyle. But on the real note, if you really think about it, the money and the fame is not worth it if you're known as... Like the Jack Duarte. You tell me, is it really worth it to change your lifestyle and live their lifestyle while everyone around you is fake? Everyone's just trying to use you. Everyone thinks you're a piece of shit of cringe. But no one will tell you to your face because they're enjoying the perks that they get once they're with you. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a very fake lifestyle. And I'm very happy to have my net worth like $100 rather than having their net worth. But... Just living a very fake life. And trust me, this whole thing is temporary. But the reputation thing is forever. Now, I've never done any reality show or movie reviews. Maybe I'm going to start doing it because I do watch a lot of things. Let me know in the comments if I should. But if I want to rate this reality show that we just wa watched today, I'm going to give it a 7.3. And that's like, I'm being very generous with this. This shit had me laugh the first time I watched it and the 10th time that I watched it today. Still made me laugh so 7.3 i think is pretty fair for this uh hilarious comedy slash drama uh tv show <laughs> anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care for yourself i'll catch you at the next one